Hey everybody, John with Owl. It is a beautiful day, so I figured I would come do this video outside. You can see these beautiful wheels behind me as I do my best Vanna White. These are transit wheels, transit talon all-wheel drive wheels to be more specific. This is kind of a new venture for Owl. We're well known for our sprinter gear and we get asked literally every day, multiple times a day when our transit gear is coming out. We're changing facilities and we hope to have that stuff out soon. But in the meantime, we have these three beautiful wheels behind me. Transit all-wheel drive wheels have been something that we've wanted to do from the first time we got our transit. And that's because the OEM transit wheels are heinous. There's no better way to put it. And because of the way the wheel is with its offset, or should I say more specifically, the way the axle is, it's incredibly hard to make a wheel that looks good on a transit. So we worked really hard uh, to make these wheels look fantastic. And I think we did a stellar job. The feedback has been awesome. We have three colors and that's one of the reasons I wanted to do a video because when you look at the internet, everybody's computer is a little bit different and everybody's, uh, you know, on YouTube, it's gonna be a little different, but at least you get to see the colors comparing and contrasting. Let me take you through a few of the features of the wheel. First and foremost is the aesthetics of the wheel. So you can see anyone that's looked at their transit wheels, look at how that is so close to where the tire is. And once this is mounted, and what I mean by so close to where the tire is, meaning the mounting surface of the wheel, if you come in back here to the hub, the issue with a transit wheel, and the reason it's hard to make the all-wheel drive transit wheels look good is most wheels have the wheel mounting surface in uh, kind of the middle of the wheel or close to it, the center line of the wheel. This, on the other hand, the um, transit wheel has a wheel mounting surface well outside the rim. So what we did is we brought the rim out, we made it wider, and then we basically changed the shape and the design of the wheel to kind of hide that look that the transit comes with OEM. It's really almost more of a dually style wheel uh, that the transit comes with than an actual single rear wheel uh, wheel that you find on like a sprinter van and so on. So I want to show you some pictures of these with tires. So I'll roll some of this footage or some stills of these with tires mounted because once the tires mounted, what happens is the tire sticks out past the rim, right? So the tire is going to come out past the wheel itself, which means the tire is going to be here, which means you're going to get that kind of step down look that makes a wheel look better. It doesn't look so much like the front end of a dually. So that's really important that it goes along with the look. The other aesthetic aspect of the wheels, I think, are the colors. And again, really hard to show colors in a video. Bronze is one of my favorite colors now for wheels. It's actually what I put on my own personal van. This bronze, I wish you could see it in person. It's a satin bronze. And bronzes and gunmetals are really hard to do well. You don't want this to get too uh, gold or it starts to look like jewelry. You also don't want it to get too uh, shiny or it looks like jewelry. On the other side of it, you don't want it to get too brown. Uh, not much looks good in brown unless you're going for kind of a super retro 70s style van or something like that, which most transit builds are not. Then you come over to the gunmetal or graphite gray as we call it. This color, I don't know how it comes out on video. It is stunning in person. It looks very metallic. And what I mean by that is it looks like kind of raw metal or titanium was kind of poured into a mold and it comes off looking very uh, high end, very kind of, um, I think titanium, like I said, is probably the best way to describe it. And this is a little bit more of a smooth finish. When you get into the bronze, it's actually much more of kind of a, a satin matte finish. And then you come over here to our black wheel, which again is kind of a satin. When you go to matte with a black, it looks cheap. It looks like it's spray painted. When you go um, full gloss, it's too shiny. It, it looks, again, it looks cheap. It looks like you took a chrome wheel and you sprayed over the top of it. So we really worked hard on the aesthetics of the wheel to get the colors and the finish just right. And I really like, I wish you could see these in person. If you have a chance to go to a show and see them, check them out. Now I wanna talk beyond aesthetics because aesthetics are a big part of wheels. What did we put into the wheel feature-wise that makes these so good? Well, we've got, these are pressure forged wheels. Sorry, I'm kind of moving around here. I'm getting older, my knees hurt. It's a pressure, sorry, not pressure forged, pressure cast wheel. There are multiple ways to build a wheel. You have casting, which is the way most manufacturers make their wheels. You have forging, a uh, very expensive way to make a wheel. It's incredibly strong, but believe me, you don't want to pay the bill on a forged wheel. 
these are a pressure cast wheel. And what that means is instead of a normal cast wheel where the molten metal is poured into the mold, uh, this is actually, we create a vacuum in the mold and suck the uh, aluminum into the mold. And what that does, it allows you to have a stronger wheel, a lighter wheel. And in fact, most OEM aluminum wheels are made this way. So these are definitely on par with that. They also have a load rating of over 4,000 pounds. And compare that with some of the wheels out there. I think methods are in the 2600 uh, load range, black rhinos um, in the low threes. And so you've got a load rating that's well beyond what else is on the market. And that's important as you get to a van that's excuse me, like eight, nine, 10,000 pounds. If you've got a wheel that's got a 2,500 pound load rating and your van is pushing high nines in weight, you are on the very ragged edge of what that wheel can handle. Go off road and you got a good chance of having a failure. So we wanted to make sure we had some of the strongest wheels on the market. And then I'll take you in here. I don't know if you can see this little ridge right here. This little ridge is really important for keeping the tire on the bead. So when you are off roading, you obviously want to take your tire pressures down and that is an opportunity for that tire to pop off the bead but just having this little lip keeps that on there because bead locks are not legal on the street and so this allows you to get kind of a uh, the advantages of a bead lock it's on the inside and the outside most bead locks are only on the outside it allows you to have that advantage of a um, bead lock style wheel without having something that's not legal for road use so we talked about those two features. I also want to come back in here. One of the nice things about this wheel is it's very easy to clean. It's got detail. It's a thicker wheel, which looks really good on bigger vehicles. I love spoked wheels, like thin spoked wheels, I think look fantastic on sports cars, light duty trucks. When you get into like a Sprinter or a Transit, the vehicle size and weight requires a thicker wheel. It needs to look more substantial. And so we went with a substantial look, but we also made it easy to clean. When you have something like a, a black rhino arsenal it's got all these fake bolts sticking out and plasticky things and things that snap on and it ends up looking in my opinion too busy but worse cleaning is a nightmare you have to get in there almost with like a q-tip to clean stuff this wheel you can wipe off um, all the step downs here are very subtle and so you can actually wipe the wheel off fairly easily while you're cleaning and i think that's a really nice touch you'll also the keen eye observe sorry i said that wrong the keen eyed observer out there will notice You've got a valve stem spot there and a valve stem spot there. Did we make a mistake? Why are the two valve stems? We absolutely didn't make a mistake. We did this on purpose. If you come look over here at this wheel that has valve stems in it, there's your standard valve stem. So what you can do with that, TPMS, Tire Pressure Monitoring System. This is gonna give you your live tire pressures. Uh, so you've got that and you can also monitor your pressures through that with a pressure gauge And so we actually put a second valve stem up here. This is our apex dump valve or quick release valve. There's a little uh, I don't know what you call it like plunger or uh, Lever that you pull here when this cap is off and it dumps all the air very very quickly out of the tire and what you can do is you can plug your air pressure gauge into this one and then dump the air out very quickly to air down extremely quickly so you're not sitting there for you know a half an hour with a stick poked into your valve uh, to try to let the tire pressure out. Really nice feature. And if you ever wanna use something like a tire slime, you can't put tire slime through a standard valve with TPMS. It will destroy the TPMS. You can put that through an apex valve. So really nice there. And if you choose to order the wheels without the apex valves, they're about, I think 24 bucks a valve. And this video over time with inflation and so on, that may change. So that's at the time of this video. But if you choose not to do that, then you can just have whoever's mounting and balancing your wheels and tires put in a separate valve. Typically, most tire shops don't even charge for valves. Um, anything else on the wheel I wanna to touch on? Um, again, we talked about the three colors. We talked about the construction. We talked about the dual valves. Uh, we have these wheels in stock and uh, hopefully you see these on one of our vans at a show. Come out and talk to us. Happy to talk about the wheels. And we're just really excited to have a wheel that we think looks really good and better than that is an incredibly um, strong performer and a major step up from what is OEM uh, on the Ford, or should I say what else is out there as well as far as aftermarket wheels. So I hope you like them as well. We're gonna be coming out with a lot more transit products as we go. Uh, with OWL, we're in the process of moving our headquarters and once we get settled, we're gonna uh, go to town with a lot more transit products, but hopefully you had a chance to see these wheels and see how gorgeous they are. And this video allows you to kind of compare and contrast some of those colors. And I tell you out there, be bold. I want some folks to try the bronze. We're putting bronze on our, our blue van is gonna have the bronze wheels, kind of a, 
an homage to the Subarus of the 90s. So hopefully you like it. And if you have any questions on these, feel free to give our customer support a call. We do answer the phone and we turn emails around pretty quickly. So hopefully you enjoyed this little video on the Owl Talon all-wheel drive wheels for transits. <laughs>